Dubai is not a country. Dubai is one of the Emirates here. Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Shinne Tapishe. To all my returning subscribers, welcome. If you're new, you're in the right place. Please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button. Please don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. In this video of today, I'll be sharing with you things people should know or do before coming to the United Arab Emirates, especially those people who are coming to look for a job. There are certain things you need to do and certain things you need to be aware of so you don't waste your time unnecessarily. There are seven Emirates that make up the United Arab Emirates. You have Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Fujairah, Ashman, Omaquin, and Rasakema. Dubai is the economic capital of the United Arab Emirates, and Abu Dhabi is the capital of the United Arab Emirates. The ruler of Dubai is a vice president and prime minister of the United Arab Emirates. Meanwhile, the ruler of Abu Dhabi is the president of the United Arab Emirates. The first thing you need to do before coming to the United Arab Emirates is make sure that before leaving your job back home, the person giving you the information about the job opportunity here has your best interest at heart. At times, some of these people processing visas, they give people false information. Some would tell you they have good opportunities here where you can come and be a manager in a company. You can come and be an HR. Some would tell you you have a good teaching position in a school. Meanwhile, most of them are just lying. So to save yourself from all this and be on the safe side, if someone is telling you all this, it's advisable for you to get the information. Go online and read. Knowledge is power. Once you have the information, once the person gives you the information about the job opportunity he or she has promised you here, that is the person processing your visa, it's advisable for you to go to the company website and read. Try to make sure that yes, this job this person is promising me, the person has made me a work visa and this company has hired me from my country to come and work here. It's always good to read, to have the knowledge, to make sure you are on the right track. Some people trust people blindly and when they get here, so many are stranded, some are frustrated. At times, some of the people who process your visa will take you to be a bellboy in a hotel. Some might take you to be a housemaid. Wish that was not the arrangement. You'll be so angry. You'll be doing the job angrily. And after some time, maybe you will decide to go back home or you'll have to change. But you see you have been deceived. If you did your research, you would have prevented all this. So save yourself from all this and also take some time to do research. Once anyone is promising you any job, those processing your visa. For some people, they lie people that they are processing them a work visa. Meanwhile, it's a tourist visa. And when you get here, you are stranded. There is no job for you. So many people back home find it so difficult to go online and read about what they are being promised. They just find it easy to pay their money to someone. The person is telling you this is how it will be, that is how it will be. You don't want to do any research. You say you trust this person. I've met so many people here who are frustrated. I met a manager who was working in a total company in Cameroon. And when he got here, the person gave him a job to be a bellboy. 
and he had paid huge amount of money, which that was not the agreement. But if that person would have taken some time to go online and read, to make sure the company has actually hired him, he would have saved himself from all that. So let's learn from the mistakes of other people and do things correctly. Number two, do a medical test. If you wish to come to the United Arab Emirates to look for a job, you need to do your medical test before you come. You can do the chest x-ray, you do hepatitis B, the tuberculosis, and HIV. These are the basic ones you can do. But when you come and arrive here, based on the type of job that you are getting, the company will decide if you have to do more checkups, if they have to check you for some other things that you didn't do in your country before coming. Don't waste so much money paying a flight to come here that you will not be able to work. All the companies here, before they want to make you a worker, some will give you the contract, you sign it. But before they actually employ you because you have a probation period, you need to go for the medical checkup before they start processing your visa. And when you go for the checkup, if you test positive for tuberculosis or HIV, you should know you'll be sent back home and you'll be put under a ban not to return to the UAE. Because here, if you have HIV or tuberculosis, you are not allowed to stay here. There are so many people who have come here unknowingly and they have tested positive for this and they have to return home. If you're returning home, all the money you spend to pay your flight, all the money has been wasted. So you can save yourself the stress by doing the test, knowing your status all the way back from your home country. So when you come here, everything will move on smoothly. And now with this pandemic, before you come here, you need to do your COVID test. And when you do the COVID test, you should make sure it is negative. You can do in two places just to be double sure. Here, if you're sick and you're sent back home, the probability of you being put under a ban is one. So don't jeopardize your opportunity of coming in future by coming here without testing yourself. Number three, save money before coming to the United Arab Emirates to look for a job. Once you have money for your visa and money for your air ticket, that is not enough. When you arrive here, you will need money for transportation. You will need money for feeding. You will need money for airtime. You will need money for maintenance. And if you're living in a bed space, which is a place where many people live, you will need money to pay for your bed space. When coming here, if you have a relative, don't just assume your relative is going to shoulder your financial responsibilities. If your relative has promised that he or she will do that, then that is good. If the relative has not, don't assume. People have so many things they are going through. People have so many problems, but they decide not to tell you because complaining about the problems will do no good since you won't help them to solve the financial problems. If you also have a friend here, don't assume the friend is going to shoulder the financial responsibility for you. So many people come here with the spirit of entitlement, expecting people to shoulder their financial responsibilities not knowing what these people are going through. You need to change your mindset. United Arab Emirates is like any other country where things are not easy. For you to be able to eat here, you need to work. You need to be conscious. So many people have low paying jobs, but they spend their time trying to concentrate to see on how they can improve themselves. They don't complain. 
So if you're coming here to look for a job, prepare yourself, have some money with you that when you arrive here, you'll be able to do your things freely without being a burden on any person. It's so strenuous when people have to be burdens on other people who are also struggling to live their lives. Number four, do not borrow money from anyone to come to the United Arab Emirates to look for a job if you are not a pushful person. So to all those people back home who just sit and say, make me a visa, pay my flight ticket, let me come there and work when I finish working or when I get money from my employer, I'm going to repay you. All of you need to change that. And also, if you are not a pushful person, if someone even decides to sacrifice for you, to make you a visa and pay your flight ticket, once you get here, how are you going to look for a job when you are not pushful, when you are so lazy, you feel so entitled, you are not going out for walk-in interviews. You don't want to do anything for yourself because you feel the person who brought you here has to do that. There is nobody here who has all the jobs who will just be giving the jobs out to you. Once you're an adult, try to take responsibility. Try to take charge of your life and try to make things happen. Once you come to the UAE to look for a job, you are coming on a tourist visa. And after three months, the visa is going to expire. God forbid, if you don't yet have a job before your visa expires, you will have to return home. And if you had borrowed the money back from your home country, when you go home, you will need to refund the money. If you had borrowed the money from someone who resides here, we all know you will not want to pay. But if you had worked your own money, or if you had worked part of the money, you will know how difficult it is to work money, which will encourage you to be pushful, to want to go out for work-in interviews, to make conscious efforts, to get the job that is available at the moment and start doing it before you start looking for the job you want. So everyone who has been asking people to borrow their money, to come and look for a job, to do this for them, to do that, please, you need to stop. You need to change your mindset. You need to know this life is not easy and you are no longer a baby. You need to sit up for yourself. Number five accommodation getting a house here in the united arab emirates or a room is very very expensive so if you're coming to look for a job you're from a struggling background let me say that you're not financially stable you've worked your money you've saved to come and look for a job you should know you're going to live in a best space and best spaces here are like dormitory schools in Cameroon where you have bunk beds at times you have three of the beds at times you have four some depending on the height of the room and in such places you know you're going to meet people of all types of personalities those who are quiet those who are noisy if your comfort is very very important to you or you value it so much you need to save up enough money before coming so that when you come you can get a partition where you will live in in some places some people get a room and they partition in it into two so you live in one section and the other person lives in the other but you should know Partitions are very expensive to live in if you're coming to also look for a job. To get a housing contract here, you need to have either an investment visa or you need to be a resident before you can do that. Most people here in the UAE are living in best spaces, but some do not bother to tell you who is living back home. You feel they are living in luxury. 
because this is a developed country so when they go to places and they take pictures they put online you feel they're in paradise the few people who decide to open up to you to tell you that life here is not easy some people feel they are discouraging them from coming they are being wicked you need to be able to learn to accept the truth from the few people who want to tell you how life is housing here is very very expensive all of those living back home in big houses big rooms if you come here you should know the probability of you doing that even when you get a job is zero because housing here is expensive it is not cheap number six the weather in the united arab emirates it has a desert climate with very mild winters and very hot and sunny summers if you live in a place like Douala people will tell you Douala is so hot it's unbearable here I have lived in Douala I have lived in Bamenda so when I used to compare the two I used to see Douala was so hot but once I came here I saw that it was different here at times it's so hot that you find it difficult to stand outside you can move with an umbrella most people always try to stay hydrated but there are times when it is also cold here but you should know that as a desert you have less rainfall here compared to other places number seven when coming to the united arab emirates to look for a job you should make sure you pack enough food stuff in your bag. Avoid the mistake that so many people did of packing clothes. Just get some few clothes and make sure you carry enough food stuff. Once you arrive here and when you start working, you'll be able to buy the clothes you want here and the clothes you brought back from home. Maybe you will not need them. Food stuff is expensive here. I mean the food stuff we eat back home when you go to African shops you will see that it is very expensive but if you brought yours it's going to help you to save a lot of money thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video kindly check out my other videos don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up share this video with everyone you know encourage them to subscribe to my youtube channel stay blessed god loves you bye bye